Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. As you can see this absolutely beautiful touch me not plant which is also called as Mimosa. I will put up the scientific name on the screen. Now this is a voluntary plant in my garden meaning that it shows up during the monsoon season. I don't sow the seeds or I do not do any kind of propagation. It just voluntarily grows in my garden. Uh, now during the summers the plant disappears so most probably it's more like a tender perennial in my garden but only during the monsoon season until winters uh, the plant is visible. Most probably once it flowers the seeds tend to hibernate in the soil and when the environment is favorable they start to sprout. So it's an absolutely beautiful very dramatic plant as you can see if you touch uh, the leaves of this plant they will start to close as you can see this they start to close now why does our touch stimulate the plant and it closes its leaves in return some chemicals are released from the stem when we touch the plant these chemicals force the water to move out of the cell leading in loss of pressure as a result the leaves start to droop now the plant does this in order to reduce the surface area which is otherwise exposed to potential predators basically the herbivores a lot of herbivores when they start munching on the plants nearby to it at the moment there is a slightest touch to one leaf the plant will start to close its leaves now this works as a defense mechanism for the plant apart from that this plant is also heavily filled with thorns so you have to be extremely careful now i know it is fun to touch the leaves the leaves close then they open up again within a couple of seconds you touch them again they close back and it is fun to do but to be honest it's not a very good thing to keep touching the plant every now and then because every time the plant does this that is closing of the leaves and opening of the leaves the plant has to put in a lot of energy for that so if you want to have a healthy plant don't keep touching it every now and then it will hamper the growth because during the entire process the plant uses a lot of energy in order to close and open the leaves other than that it's a very easy to grow plant requires a good amount of indirect bright light with dappled sunlight the soil has to stay moist if the soil will stay dry the plant will dry out it will die there has to be moisture in the soil in order for the plant to do quite well it tends to grow quite large this is still a very young plant because probably uh, a month back it started to sprout and this is the growth within two months uh, it has grown quite well it tends to kind of spread uh, ideally uh, it is considered as weed in a lot of parts of my country it tends to get these uh, beautiful pink blooms i'll put up the image on the screen it might take a while for them to bloom uh, but if it does i will definitely share the video with you guys so that's about it guys i hope that this video so that's about it i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting